gosh, guys, I just yeah, found yeah. this dog in the parking lot, Mommy. just walking around. I couldn't leave her out there. Let's check for a microchip. Oh, where's your mom? She clearly is owned, I think. Yeah. Let's check. She didn't even, like, growl or show any teeth when I went to go pick her up. She just let you pick her up? Yeah. Honey, you don't have I a don't microchip. Think she has one. Oh, I can't find your mom. What are we gonna do now? Well, I say let's keep her for a bit. Maybe somebody's gonna be looking for her, or maybe somebody's gonna post online. Maybe we'll see it. If nobody claims her, we could update her rabies vaccine before we call animal control. All right, well, I can make her a nice, comfy kennel. You wanna come live with me? I can adopt you, yeah. <laughs> Look at her tail. Come with Kayla? She's excited about that. <laughs> come on, let's go to your kennel. All right, mamas. How you doing today? Good. You brought Jingles in today. OK, can you tell me kind of what's going on with him? He was calm, happy, all over the cage, excited whenever you would bring him food. Now he's just like, OK, cool, you're here. There's food, but I'll get it when I want it. And he's hiding more. Chinchillas live for an average of 10 years. And some of the symptoms that he's exhibiting could just be due to age. One thing we worry about when chinchillas stop eating are their, their teeth, because dental disease, dental abscesses can exhibit a large amount of pain. And with that, they won't eat like they normally will. And you got him when he was a tiny little thing? He was four months. I've owned him for like nine years. As they get older, their stride gets a little shorter. Their appetite can decrease. Um, they can't see as well as they, they could when they were younger. It doesn't seem like he can see that well, and his eyes are starting to get just... A little cloudy. I do see that metallic, cloudy appearance, so I'm thinking he is possibly developing a cataract. But we'll go ahead and get some blood work. What all does that entail? Blood work, it lets us know his white blood cells, his platelets, any signs of infection, anything that could be causing him not to be his normal self. The knots on his back have gotten really bad lately. Just more increase in size and amount. Are you giving him the volcanic baths? He gets those every night. OK. Chinchillas don't like to get wet. So that volcanic dust and that ash helps detangle the hairs and also keeps them clean. But it's not going to always prevent mats and knots in their fur. I think the best thing for him would be placing them under that light plane of anesthesia mm -hmm. with the gas, getting the blood work, removing those mats without him moving, without him being stressed out. Another thing I would do while he's under anesthesia is doing a good oral exam mm -hmm. to make sure that his teeth are not overgrown. Right, so it's not even possible without anesthesia. He's really active. I'm just concerned because he's almost 10, so is his heart strong enough? Even though you said it's a light mm -hmm. form, he's still really old. I don't look at it as an age. I look at it as, OK, can his heart handle it? Mm -hmm. His heart's nice and strong. So to try to find out what's going on with him, I think that would be the best option. As a parent, we're always concerned when you have to put your, your baby under anesthesia, because with anesthesia comes risk. However, we make sure as veterinarians that the patient has a strong heart, is thriving, it's not lethargic. I think, you know, anesthesia will be the best thing to figure out what's going on. You know, if he is indeed going through something, then I want to know just so that he's not suffering alone. He's our last chinchilla. We've had two. My sister lost her last one two years ago, and he has filled the void for her and I. He's just been my companion. I could give you some time to think and see if that's an option you want to move forward with. OK. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. My gut says to do it just because it'd be better to know than to be shocked by something one day, you know? If something were to happen, the worst feeling is not knowing. When something happens to your pet and you don't know why. Um, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, do the sedation, um, do the blood work. 
and we'll go ahead and get the knots done. All right, I'll let them know. You are cute. Okay. Look. We've been separated before. It's just not where something could go wrong. How's it going? You got blood? Yep. I'm almost finished shaving these little mats out. I just got to look at the teeth. So what I'm going to do now is just look at the teeth, make sure the teeth are not overgrown. So if their teeth are overgrowing, they could cause what's called entrapment of the tongue, and those points cause irritation, preventing them to eat. If we don't do anything, the chinchilla will die because they could get what's called geostasis, the gut slows down, and they become septic. You got a light? Thank you, buddy. Teeth look good. All right, let's wake them up. So we got our blood sample, we removed the mats, the teeth look great. Now it's time to go back to mom. Hello, here's your baby. Thank you. Those are all the mats that we clipped out of him. He handled the anesthesia really well. And look, come on, mama. There go mommy, there's mommy. I'm really happy he made it through the anesthesia. I wasn't sure if he would because of his age, but he did. I think he, he feels a lot better. You could see all the mats we shaved off of him. I mean, he looks better. He looks good for our old man. So that means you've been taking really good care of him, so that's awesome. He probably feels better. My dental exam, teeth look good. Okay. So it's not the teeth that's causing issues. I think we're dealing with something internal, and as soon as I get the blood work back, we'll go over everything in detail, but you did great. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Sasha. Thank you. My buddy. You see all that? That's a lot. Get your ears pretty. Touching yeah. up! Yeah. You got her owner? You got her owner? Yes! Okay, wow. so this is definitely mom. Definitely. What's her name? Zelda. Zelda! Oh, that's Hello. amazing. That. So mom says she ran away from her in the backyard. That's you great. She's gonna be so excited to go home. You wanna say bye to Caitlin? Uh, yeah, this is my baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, mama. Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi to mom. I'm gonna miss that cute little pup, but I know she's going right back home to her loving mother. That's the true test. That's how you know she's mom. She's so precious. She is the sweetest baby. <laughs> she's like, yep, that's my mom. <laughs> Even the best pet owner can lose their dog. Things happen. But I'm so glad that I got to reunite these two and got to see their bond. How did you find her? Well, we had seen her outside in the parking lot, and I was like, where's your mom? <laughs> so I brought her, and I was like, uh, found a, a little baby. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Bye, honey. Right, we'll see you. Bye. Bye, Mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have a good life. Bye, Mom. Stop Thank running you. away. Right. <laughs>